Good evening. Welcome to Maranatha Baptist University and the presentation of Theo Hearts. I just did something really special, and I told her I would probably inter- uh, embarrass her a little bit. Maybe I'll embarrass me, but I just got the director's signature on here, okay? <laughs> Mrs. Carol Ruffin is our director, and I was kidding with my wife before I came over, and I said, I hope I don't say uh, Mrs. Sen. That's what I knew her as, as she... Uh, was doing her teaching at a very early age, I should say that, when I was a, when I was a student here. And uh, she has been so faithful to God, uh, so good to work with the students. And uh, we're just delighted uh, to be able to present uh, a product of her work as well as the work of many students tonight. May I ask you to check your cell phones, make sure they're turned off or turned to a silent mode. Uh, I would remind you that at Maranathi we don't take uh, flash photography pictures during the performance. Um, I hope that you'll abide by that this evening. And a 10-minute intermission, and after that the lights will flicker as normal, and we'll come back and we'll see uh, the second half of the performance. That says God's blessing tonight upon what we're going to enjoy. Lord, we thank you that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above down from the Father of lights. We thank you, Lord, that there's no variableness or shadow of turning uh, in your character, that you're a good God and you give good gifts always. We thank you at this time for our Savior who died at Calvary's cross. We remember this Good Friday that uh, commemorates that in a very tangible way in our society. But Lord, as believers, we recognize that all of our hope for eternity is focused on what transpired a little more than 2,000 years ago in that hill in Jerusalem just out We thank you, Father, for what was accomplished there, that sin's payment was made. We thank you that it was complete and that our Savior was able to say triumphantly, it is finished. We thank you that he rose from the dead. We thank you for Uh, He is the Savior to all that will repent of their sins and turn to him. Thank you, Father, for the presentation tonight. I pray that the message of Christ and the cross would be very clear and that you would be honored in all things. And we'll thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. too, Rachel. Our sons are destined to be fast friends, no? (laughs) Indeed. Same mannerisms, temperament. Not exactly. Your Benjamin has a bit of a temper. My Nathan is more of a thinker. How can you tell? I am his mother. I can tell. He will be a great scholar someday. Oh, and my son will fetch your son's food and water for him, eh? That is not what I meant. I know, Anna. I know. I just want my Benjamin to be happy, no matter what he chooses in life. Whether he drives camels or becomes a rabbi. Listen to you. Listen to you. (laughs) Do you think much about the future? Of course. Have you ever had dreams? Dreams? Uh, Dreams of things to come. Oh, so now you are a prophetess. No, Rachel. Well... I have had dreams of sneaking up on my long-lost poor excuse for a husband with an iron pot. Wham! Rachel! And you have had no thoughts of retribution for your husband deserting you when you needed him most? Sometimes, perhaps. But there are no iron pots in my dreams. (laughs) Rachel, do you suppose our husbands will ever... Come back? Yes! The same day Herod declares me his queen and gives me a ruby-studded bathtub. I suppose you are correct. You know I am, Anna. 
I have had dreams about him. About Nathan? Yes. I dream that people, uh, many people, will be talking about him. Talking about him? Yes, and reading about him for years and years. But will he be happy? My son will be. For if he is not, I will make him happy. <laughs> Rachel? Something strange is happening. Samuel, what is it? You must, must go. Soldiers coming. Soldiers coming. Herod's men coming to kill all the baby boys. Herod's men killing baby boys? Why? How do you know? A friend told me he was in the last village where they, they killed. They're nearby, Anna. Dear Lord, help us. Quickly, Anna, give me Nathan. No! If you want your son to live, trust me. But Rachel! No! Be happy, my son. This is a part of me for you to keep till we meet again. Now, son, you'll take our boys. Take them, but there's no time to argue, boy. Your mother will know what to do. Now go! Wait! Nathan! You will see him again. Now go! Run like the wind! Your plan is it's working. They're not stopping, Samuel. Praise Jehovah. Quickly now, fill these bags with sand. Sand? If you want your son to live, do as I say. Hug the bag to your chest. Let the soldiers see it. They're upon us! Our boys are safe, Anna. The soldiers can do nothing now. Nothing at all. No, 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 no. no. Have you seen them? Do you see them, Tobiah? Are they here? You are supposed to keep an eye on those two, to watch where they went, to... to fall on a Roman sword rather than listen to this. If only you had. Ah, enough fighting, Sarah. The ceremony starts soon at the temple. What a day. They come as boys, they leave as men. If we can find them, that is. And I am not allowed to go in and watch... There are rules. You know this. Yes, yes, I know this, Tobiah. But where are the boys? We are responsible for them. We will betray their mother's trust if anything happens to them. Do not panic. There! Over there! Nathan! Benjamin! Come here this instant! Not a word, brother! Not a word! Father! Mother! Benjamin! Benjamin! What about Benjamin? Nothing. You have nothing to say, do you, Nathan? Where were you? I know you I know you'll tell me. What have you been up to? If you tell These boys met Benjamin he could not erase a camel at full gallop. So we went outside the city walls and grabbed a man's camel. When they struck a tie in quarter, it began galloping away. So Benjamin raced the camel. And... R- racing a camel? Outside the gates? What the And he won! Benjamin beat the camel. But the boys ran off instead of paying up. You bet? Just a couple of figs, Mother. If those boys had not run away, we would have enough figs for a week. He bet my toy car soldier, too. You just had to tell. They need to know what you do. Nathan, you're such a mama's boy. I am not. Or two! One. Enough! Enough! These are not sons of mine who fight like street bandits and race camels, for goodness sake. 
Have you forgotten why we are here? Sorry, Father. Sorry. Today, you become men. After today, you will have the right and honor to read and comment on the Holy Scriptures. But if this behavior continues, none of that will happen. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Father. That is much better. You both are ready? You both have studied a long time for this moment. Do not disappoint me. Or your mother. Now, smile. Like this. Oh, my heart, my heart. to you, O Lord, among the gods, who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You have led forth the people which you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength unto your holy habitation. Amen. Amen. Uh, Nathan ben Tobiah. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord which hath brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him, and shalt swear by his name ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Amen. 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 Benjamin ben Tobiah. Uh, I am sorry I cannot read this. <laughs> Here, O Israel, uh, I am... I am, I am not ready after all, Father. I am sorry. As am I. As am I. <sighs> Jesus ben Joseph. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb, Nathan, so he openeth not his mouth. Now. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generations? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, and for the transgressions of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. It had pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. Days grow longer and so does my pain. But what is important is the spring crop is getting planted. Can you not hire some laborers, Tobiah, instead of killing yourself like this? Many men would laborers, be Laborers, you say? You would think this old man would not have to worry about hiring laborers. You would think by now my son would have taken over the family business for his father. You would think... Quiet, husband. Let Benjamin sleep. And Nathan is studying. I am sorry, Nathan. 
I was speaking to your brother here. Yes, go on and sleep. You see, Nathan, your brother is studying too. Studying to be a beggar. Do you see the other young men disobeying their fathers? No, they are learning to be farmers, fishermen, shepherds, carpenters like their fathers. Please, Tobiah, we have heard this before. Benjamin has tried many things. Leave him be. Yes, poor Benjamin. Some of your so-called friends are not sleeping away their day. They asked about you while I was in the field. Who? Who? That rabble from across the village. They are my friends, father. Where did they say... They were going to go steal more purses from strangers and make life miserable for all decent people. Very funny. (laughs) I will be home late. Be back soon. I will try. And when you are arrested, tell the authorities that you are adopted, that you have no mother or father. As you wish. See you later, Rabbi. Why must you be so hard on Benjamin? Because he can do so much better, and he doesn't even try. All his life he's been like this. He never applies himself. Not like our Nathan here, or like Samuel before him. Oh, Nathan, I almost forgot. While you were at the market earlier, several scribes and Pharisees from the temple stopped by. Really? What did they want? They were inquiring how your studies were progressing. I told them you have the intellect, reading skills, and grasp of the scripture to make a perfect scribe. One day, I will be better than all of them. Do not be haughty, son. But it is true, father. Half of those men are woefully deficient in their knowledge of the Torah. Nathan, do not be so quick to condemn these men. After all, they... Mother, it is time for some new blood, a new perspective. There is truth in his words, Sarah. Since I became a man, these have been burning on my heart. They are my life's work. I have never been more certain of God's calling. I am to be a scribe. (laughs) Go then. Your classes start soon at the temple. Yes, Father. And afterwards, I shall come home straight away. Unless, of course, we get into another debate. Why did you have to say what you said to Benjamin? Say what? I said many things. Adopted. You said he was adopted. Oh, that. I said that he should tell the authorities that he was adopted. That is not the same as saying he really was adopted. I remember our vow. Someday you will slip and there will be a price to pay. So tell them both the truth. They are young men, not children. Stop, Tobiah. We can never tell them. We cannot know how such news would affect them even now. Are you ashamed that they are adopted? Of course not. Adoption is honorable. They are our sons, just as if they were our own flesh and blood. But (laughs) The matter is closed. Promise me to keep our vow. Samuel has all these years. Keeping the vow is easy for Samuel. He lives in Cyprus. We rarely see him. Promise. Very well, I promise. I will not tell. Not even a hint, eh? Oh, you silly old man. Who are you calling old? (laughs) (laughs) Eat your chickpeas and figs. Well, well, well. Look who it is, my little brother, the apprentice rabbi. Where are you going, rabbi? Scribe. I am studying to be a scribe. Scribe, rabbi. They are all the same. Actually, no. 
scribes study and interpret the scriptures. Rabbi, Who cares, dear brother? You see, boys, Nathan here has always been the favorite one. Favorite of mother and father, favorite of the teachers at the temple, and now, apparently, the favorite of God himself. Let me buy. Yes, he has always been the smarter one, the brighter one, the one who became a man when I failed the test. Tell us, Nathan. What do the scriptures say about thieves and beggars? That they are not to be tolerated. Oh, we are not to be tolerated, boys. Your greatness, could you sacrifice a lamb at the temple on our behalf? Maybe say a little prayer, please? How about some mercy, brother? You deserve none. Oh. Mother and father have given you every opportunity to succeed. And yet you choose this. You shame our family name. You deserve what you get. Listen, brother. You may be the favorite one of heaven and earth alike, but underneath it all, you are just like me. Enough of this. The truth hurts, does it not, Nathan? At least I have a future. Where are you headed? To steal and rob until you are caught and imprisoned? Maybe even executed? I try to make something of myself, but you want it all handed to you on a silver platter. And when something goes wrong, you look for someone to blame. Well, look in the mirror, dear brother, and leave me alone. Why, you... My necklace! Give it back, you! That necklace is mine! Mother gave it to me! Are you wounded? No. I'm, I'm fine. They went that way. Mind you, their leader is crafty and dangerous. If you cannot find him on the street, come see me at the temple. I know where he holds up. Follow me, man. Mother, there you are. You left the temple so quickly. I thought you might be here. Memories of your father are everywhere. I cannot bear it. Be assured, father is with Jehovah, and he is happy. The scriptures assure us of that. Yes, I know this. But what about me? Who will provide for me? Who comforts the widow? God himself, and I... And Samuel, when he can get here. And Benjamin. We cannot forget about Benjamin. He will be back someday. Mother, he has been gone for 13 years. 13 years, 6 months, and 23 days. And all that time we have heard nothing from him. And when his father dies, where is he? He has his reasons. Um, uh, Mother, I must return to my duties at the temple. Tell me again what he said when he left. I was not with father when he passed away. No, No, not your father. Benjamin, 13 years ago. You know the story. I have to go. Please, just once more. Your father's death has dredged up old memories of Benjamin. Please, indulge me. Your scrolls can wait. Well, I saw him outside the jail, and he told me he had to find his own way in life, and gave me this necklace as a reminder of him. The end. Now I really must go. Why do you hate him so? I do not hate him, mother. I hate what he became. He had no self-discipline. He ridiculed the faith and mocked our laws. He was a burden to the family. He looked up to you. Not likely, mother. And he did love you, deep down. He wanted you to respect him for who he was. You have just lost your husband. I have just buried my father. Must Your father asked for him before he died. Impossible. He missed Benjamin very much. They fought like mortal enemies. 
Yes, but like Benjamin, your father could not express his love very well. Well, he did to me. You were easy. Benjamin was not. Your father expected so much from him, and when he resisted and wanted to go his own way, well, then it all went downhill from there. But the day Benjamin was taken away from us, your father was crushed. Suddenly, soldiers were in our home of all places, arresting Benjamin, and then he was gone. Father never spoke of Benjamin after that day. I thought you he thought was... he was happy about it. No, but he would never tell you. Well, well, the past is the past. We must all move ahead. Nathan, will I see you again tomorrow? With my responsibilities at the temple, it is impossible for me to be here every day, Mother. So I have hired a woman to come be with you. A woman? To help with chores and provide companionship. She has a good reputation. She'll be here in the morning. You said you would take care of me. I am taking care of you, Mother, by having this woman help you. If you would allow a stranger into the house. We'll talk about this later. I must go. Shalom, Mother. Get some rest. What is to become of me and him? Why we waste a perfectly good jail cell on a good-for-nothing like you is beyond my apprehension. Mark my words, Benjamin. One of these days you will cross the line from common thief to murderer. Or worse. What could be worse than a murderer? Uh, uh, well, uh, never you mind and think about your crimes. Thanks, uh, Rabbi. Why, you! Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, miss, uh, this prisoner was recently comprehended and has been giving me a bit of a rough time. He's what we call a repeat defender. Mm. Ah, a, a repeat defender? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I will take as little of your time as possible. I bring you greetings from Rabbi Shema'i. I am Abigail. From the temple. Abigail? From the temple? Yes. Several of the women there gather useful items for the prisoners, and we make visits down here. Especially now, as Passover approaches. No one told me. That is strange. Rabbi Shema'i told me he spoke with Cato Publius and... Cato Publius? Yes, Cato Publius. Is he not your superior? Cato Publius? My superior? That... that Cato Publius? I fear I have wasted your time. Uh, what did you say your name was? Marcus? I understand, Marcus. Rules are rules. I will ask Rabbi Shema'i to speak again with Keitu Publius to confirm my permission to be here, and then I shall return. You said your name was uh, Abigail? Hmm. Of course! Abigail! From, from the temple! How could I be so forgetful? I get... So many messages from Cato Puflius, it's uh, difficult to keep track of them all. <laughs> of course. And after all, it is my first time here. Mm -hmm. We must all be vigilant. <laughs> well, I do try to be vigilant. <laughs> I must admit, Marcus, I'm a bit nervous being down here with all these convicted criminals. Is that one dangerous? Him? Mm -hmm. ha! He's just a harmless little thief. <laughs> He's been in here plenty of times. Trust me. He's just a wolf in cheap clothing. Brilliant. I see. Don't, no need to be uh, putrefied of him. I have the chief guard down here. And nobody. I said nobody. And I do mean... Nobody? No nobody ever makes trouble 
when Marcus is around. <laughs> well, I do feel safer. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> well, glad to be of uh, insistence. Yes, thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Just whistle if he vexes you. Hey, what if she vexes me? Can I whistle for you, too? Here, miss. <laughs> Conk him over the head if he gives you grief. Oh, the temple lady. I tremble with fear. You want me to stay? <laughs> oh, I will be fine, Marcus. Thank you. Remember, I'm just a whistle away. Good. Anything you need. Understood. <laughs> How about a good night kiss? Conk him good, miss. Hey, temple lady, you know what I could use more than clothes? Some decent food. Our mission is to ensure that no prisoner is forgotten at Passover. Passover? When all pious types go to temple and thank God for his meager blessings, then sacrifice an innocent lamb for forgiveness of their sins. Enough, he is gone. You are a life saver, Abby. <laughs> Here, get into these clothes. Hurry before a rockhead returns. You were very convincing as a concerned temple worker. That buffoon actually fell for it. <laughs> uh, uh, miss, are you safe down there? Uh, yes, I am fine, Marcus. Hurry, any minute now he'll come down here to ask me to marry him. Or to cock me over the head with this thing. <laughs> Ready. Your holiness. Truth be told, I have never broken a scribe out of jail before. Your reward shall be in heaven, my child. Now move. Uh, uh, miss! Abigail! Temple lady! Oh my! That, that criminal has stolen the temple lady! <laughs> this time he has gone too far! When he is captured, old Marcus will have the last laugh. <laughs> Wait. Cato Publius! Cato Publius will blame me for this! It could be the cross for me! Oh, think, brain, think! Yes! Must look like he conked me to get away. Uh, I did it. Thanks again for breaking me out. Glad to help. But now we are even. Even? For the time you tripped the temple guard chasing me, after I stole some fruit? That was years ago. And you went to jail, in my place. You were just a child. Someone had to protect you. I forgot about it. Well, I did not forget. And I always repay my debts. Very well. We are even. These robes are fine for breaking out of jail, but now I hope they do not attract too much attention in this crowd, especially theirs. Stop complaining. You will have to wear it until we can steal something else. Very well. Why is everyone just standing about? Must I do everything? Good woman, what brings so many people out of their homes today? Jesus of Nazareth is passing through here. Ah, yes, Jesus. Who? Jesus, the newest prophet. Making a name for himself, performing miracles, and healing people. Never heard of him. Everyone has heard of Jesus. I have been busy. Busy? Yes, of course. What we need to do now is find the others and lay low. Good. And if we are ever caught, Abby, just run. Remember, you do not know me. 
Relax, we are not getting caught. And if we do, we spend a little cell time and we're back on the streets again, like the old days. No, I have been in and out of jail too many times. They said, if I get into trouble again, I will be... You will be what? Crucified. Crucified? Why didn't you tell me? I would no never have... No one forced me to escape. I left on my own. Teacher, a word please. Teacher, is it legal to heal on the Sabbath? Yes or no? What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Stretch forth thine hand. <gasps> what? Did you see that? He healed him. Glory to God. How did he do it? It was trickery. That man was fine to begin with. It was not. I have known him since birth. I have heard of Jesus' miracles, but now to actually Excuse see me, one. Sir, why are your friends so angry? They are not my friends. Why would you ask that? Because you look like them. Ah. Uh, they are arguing about Jesus' miracles and healing on the Sabbath. I already knew that much. Well, if you want to know so badly, go over there yourself. Well, I never. He is the goal to say that we do not know the heart of the law, that we do not know mercy. He traipses around the countryside, spouting this, this, this heresy, performing his little magic yes. tricks and turning the hearts and minds of the people against us. Oh, but why? Why does Zadok debate this, this blasphemer? There are more, more direct ways of dealing with him. Precisely. Oh, Artemis, dear teacher, my cherished mentor, surely you can see how futile it is for us to try to outsmart this Jesus. We need a different strategy. Nathan, we should go. Go on without me. You there, brother. Uh, you might not want to bother with this one. He is rather... Ill-tempered. Approach with caution. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Remember, we are wanted criminals. You there, servant girl. Tell your master I wish to speak with him. Who is he calling a servant tell girl? Tell him I lost my voice. Tell him my tongue fell off. Tell him... Oh, you tell him. <laughs> oh my, do your servants usually treat you like this? Bless. What was that, brother? Are you injured? Uh... Uh, yes, yes, I am fine, fine, thank you. Good servants are hard to come by. I do not believe I have ever met you. I thought I knew all the scribes in Jerusalem. Uh, I am from a tiny village outside of Beersheba. Ah, huh, I see. With this madman Jesus on the loose, stealing the hearts and minds of men, we need as many good men of faith as possible to help us steal them back. Uh, well, uh, uh, stealing is something I can do. Yes, indeed. This Jesus is an imposter with little regard for the law. An imposter, you say? Yes. We, I and the other brothers in Jerusalem, have been seeking ways to trip him up, to refute his teachings publicly, and to get him out of the way. Hmm. I have an idea. Why not have him betrayed? by someone very close to him, oh. then followed and arrested in front of the most important people in his life, then lie about him and make sure he never again sees the light of day. Yes, yes. Turn his own against him. Make him watch as his little secure world falls apart and his loved ones vanish. Very good. Then forget about him, not caring whether he lives or dies. Excellent. And do it all in the name of the law, the precious law. Interesting suggestions, brother. I should be writing them down. And show no mercy, none whatsoever. Master, master, it, it is time to go. They will be looking for us. We need to go now. Yes, you are right. We must go. Will I see you again, brother? How will I find you? Do not worry, brother. I will find you.
Nathan said the woman would be here this morning. I will not have her come in and find a mess. I will prove to her that I do not need a... a helper. I am perfectly capable of taking Hello? her... Is anyone home? Oh, no, she is here. Excuse me. Does someone live here who is the mother of a temple scribe? That is all the information I have here. Yes, I am she. Uh, may I? You have a fine home. I do not need a helper. I told my son that. I can take care of myself, thank you. I have been a companion to many women who have lost their husbands. My job is not to take over the household, but to be a source of friendship and to help should you get tired or... I am not tired. I have seen many strong widows suddenly overwhelmed, especially when they have no children. I have sons. And sometimes when there are children, well, they can be busy with their own families and careers. Please do not see me as an intruder, but rather as someone to help, to comfort, and to listen. How can you understand such a loss? I have known many losses. My husband, my child, almost my very life. I understand, believe me. I will get along fine. Tobiah was a good husband, but now he is gone, and there is nothing, nothing I can... You can cry. It helps, trust me. It is so, so... Empty without him. So empty. I know. I know. Allow me to prepare a small meal, and then we can talk. Yes, fine. You say you have been with other families, too. Yes, many have needed my services. You are very good at it, I can tell, already. <laughs> Why, so many people in the streets today, and most are headed toward the gates of the city. Is something special happening? Yes, I heard that Jesus is arriving soon. I have heard much about this Jesus, but nothing to cause this kind of excitement. I used to wonder that myself. Until I encountered him, personally. Really? Where? In Judea, very recently. I had heard of a man who had died suddenly, and whose sisters were grief-stricken. I thought I might be able to help. I wanted to ask someone how I might be of assistance. But before I could, one of the women, Mary, pushed away from the rest and ran. I assumed she was running to the tomb of her brother, but no, she had seen someone coming, a man, Jesus. Lord, if only you had been there, my brother would not have died. The loss weighed heavily on Jesus. When they took him to the grave, he said, Take away the stone. Lord, there will be a great stench, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus challenged her to believe that she might see the glory of God. Jesus raised his hands toward heaven and asked God to grant his request that the people there might believe he was sent of God. Then he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Did this man actually believe he could raise the dead, I wondered? And then it happened. I had witnessed a miracle. This man, this Jesus, was truly sent of God. But another miracle happened that day. The resurrection of my soul. What do you mean? For years, I'd been burdened with hatred and bitterness about my past. But that day, when I saw Jesus weep openly, it was comforting to know that he too knew grief, that he knew me. Thank you for sharing that. 
That, that man again, coming into our city, and those fools throwing palm branches on the ground before him. When will somebody do something about this, this charlatan? Oh, oh, pardon me. Are you here to help my mother? Good. Mother, have you been nice to her? Of course. We have gotten along splendidly. I am glad. Mmm, that smells wonderful. What is it? It is... <gasps> what? What is wrong? Where did you get that necklace? The necklace? Yes. Where did it come from? Well, if you must know, it was a gift. A parting gift, actually. May I... Please, may I see it? Well, I suppose... <gasps> Mother? What is it? No, it cannot be. Rachel? Sarah? Oh my, you are Sarah! Rachel, Mother, I thought you... Mother, do you know this person? Benjamin! Oh my, Benjamin, I thought I'd never see Benjamin, you. get off me! Who are you? Mother? No, Rachel, this is not Benjamin, this is Nathan, Anna's son. Anna's son? Who is Anna? But, but it, he has the necklace. I gave this necklace to Benjamin when Herod's soldiers were attacking. When I gave the boys to Samuel, where's Benjamin? Herod's soldiers attacking? Samuel? Wait, stop. Nathan, stop. Everyone, stop. Nathan, this is one of my dearest friends, Rachel, whom I thought died years ago, but has come back to me in a miraculous way. And who is Anna? Sarah, does he not know? We thought it best. Thought what was best? Telling you and Benjamin how you came to us. Through birth? Is that not how it usually happens? No. You were both orphans, or so we thought, of a vicious attack on baby boys over 30 years ago by Herod's soldiers. Samuel brought you here. He told us that, that Rachel wanted us to take care of you both, that, that she and Anna had fooled the soldiers but lost their own lives as a result. Your birth mother, our dear friend Anna, lost her life that day in retribution for fooling the soldiers. They thought they'd killed me too, but I pretended to be dead and eventually recovered. But I could not find you, Sarah, anywhere. I searched and searched. Where were you? After the attack, we thought it best to flee. Here, to the city. We went back to find you both, but by then you were gone. Presumed dead. Oh. Oh. Where is he, Sarah? Benjamin, what has become of him? If he is dead, please just tell me. He has been gone for some time now. Arrested years ago for stealing. Stealing? Have you seen him at all? No, I have longed to, but never have. Nathan. Madness. This is sheer madness. Why did you not tell me? She thought Anna and I were dead. Why, mother? Or should I even call you that now? She is still your mother. She may not have given you birth, but she has done everything else. We were protecting you. You did not need to know. You did not need to know? Did not need to know that my real mother was killed by Herod? And that my so-called brother is not my brother after all, not even Samuel. You are still my son. What does that mean, your son? You may have raised me, but this, this changes everything. Nathan. The truth has died here today. I have spent my entire life pursuing truth through the law. And now I find the truth has been compromised right under my nose in my own home. Please. I must go. I need to seek solace in, in the temple. Where truth lives, where it is honored and not betrayed. Son, Nathan, forgive me! Forgive me!
Well, here we are at the temple entrance. So where's the rest of our band? Patience, Benjamin. They will be here soon. Benjamin, there are simple guards and soldiers everywhere. Relax, Abby. Wait there! I think I see... No, sorry. Must you get my hopes up like that only to dash them? Sometimes, Benjamin. Perfect, Benjamin. Just drive her off. Here, I think I owe you. Again. No, thank you. Aw, come on. This pot is made from the finest bronze money can buy. Not interested. They told me these little flowers can survive anything. Pestilence, famine, flood, locusts, traveling companions who say thoughtless things to people they care about. Well, you've convinced me. I accept. Thank you. You have been more than long-suffering. Listen to me spout off. And I never did thank you for dragging me away from Nathan the other day. I was about to take off his head. I noticed. Nathan has not changed in all these years. Still full of himself. His position... You both scared me that day. Both of us. You were mad enough to... You know. And Nathan was so consumed with his hate for Jesus that the two of you are really not that different. Stop. End of discussion. Just focus on trying to spot those idiots we're supposed to meet here today. You watch for them. I have had enough. Abby, wait. You have driven her off again, you lout. <laughs> Artemis! Artemis, a word, please. There you are. I searched for you in your chambers. No, what is it, Nathan? The prayers are soon starting. I must prepare myself. I, I know. I was just curious what you thought of my proposal. Your proposal? Well, yes. Uh, the scrolls I left? Ah, yes. Interesting, but entirely unrealistic and too risky. What do you mean? It is a viable plan of action to put away this Jesus once and for all. There are too many unknowns. With all due respect, how can you because say Because I can. Someday, we will trap this man. Our way. Someday. That is all you old men of the temple talk about. Doing something someday. Calm yourself, Nathan. I do not appreciate your tone. You sit around talking about the danger, the false prophets, the moral decay, the Roman... I will hear no more of this. The leaders of the temple, your leaders, have spoken. And when someone with spine comes along, with a viable plan of action to put away the biggest threat of all, you get scared! I will not waste my anger on such impudence! Nathan. Hear me. From the day you came to us, I liked you, in spite of your temper. I admired your thirst for knowledge, your passion for the word of God, and your zeal for the law. But for several years now, you have been changing. At first, it was subtle. Challenging questions made by the council, making demands rather than requests, acting independently without permission, and forsaking the discipline of study for ambition and career. And now? Nathan, this Jesus problem is something even-headed minds must tackle. You need to return to your studies and seek the voice of God. I... I uh, Artemis, forgive my tone. I have always looked to you for counsel, for advice. I need you, Artemis, now more than ever. This plan of mine is foolproof, and the survival of Israel depends on it. The fate of our nation depends on you and your plan? Is that what you think? I mean... Nathan, <laughs> hear me. You have made many enemies here in the temple. My ability to protect you is... To protect me? Yes, Nathan, from your own tongue. My tongue? Yes. Certain leaders have felt for some time that you go too far and would like to see you and those who think like you cast from the temple... Or worse. Who? Zadok, in particular. Zadok. No one listens to Many that. Many do, Nathan. Take heed. Forget this plan. This, this Jesus. I must go. Artemis, I am not the problem. It is you and the other old men. Afraid of their own shadows. That will be the death of Israel. <laughs> Fool, help me up. Uh, sorry. Nathan! What? Let go of... 
Benjamin? We meet once more. So glad you liked my plans to get rid of Jesus. I hope they were helpful. That voice? That was, that was you? What were you doing dressed like a scribe? I needed a disguise to break out of jail. You broke out of jail? I have been well, thank you for asking. Life has been an adventure. All these years, always a leaky roof over my head. <sighs> Nothing has changed. You are still a criminal. And you are still a pious, overbearing shell of a man. I will have you arrested. Just like old times, eh? Go ahead, do what you must. But remember, I know you, the real you. Beneath all the fancy robes and fake religion, you are just like me. Your consummate ignorance is more evident now than ever. That may be, but I do know this. I am a thief. I'm not proud of it, but I admit it. But you, you think you are some great gift to the people, when deep down you are no better than I. And one day, when they nail me up on a cross, I will know I am not an imposter. You know nothing about me. I have no desire to know. I have responsibilities. Responsibilities I do not take lightly to be a teacher, an example of... I do not have to justify myself to the likes of you! Guard! Prove that I am wrong. What? Prove that you have not lost touch with commoners. Let me walk out if you're a free man. Release a known criminal with a Roman sentence of death on his head. A sentence of death? What have you done to deserve that, you idiot? Is that compassion I hear in your voice? You! Or do it because you owe me from the last time when you betrayed me. I was justified in that. You were wild, needed to be taught. I needed to be taught. And look at you, gone for so long and not even a worry about mother and father. <sighs> Had you stayed in touch with father, you could have made amends with him before he... Oh, before... Before what? <sighs> yes. So sad. Opportunity lost. Tell me what happened. Oh, and one more thing. Mother and father are not your real parents. What? No wonder we were so different. Tell me how you know. I know because your real mother told me. My real mother? Get off me! Guard! Guard! Benjamin! No! 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 It is written, my house is the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves! What is the meaning of this? My lord, it is Jesus. Jesus? Yes. He ran in with the whip in his hand, shouting that the temple was full of thieves. He began lashing out at us, overturning tables, and running everyone out. See? See, I told you this man was dangerous. How can you not act after this, this desecration? Incredible. Will no one act? Lost your powers of persuasion, brother. Guard, arrest this man. He is an escaped prisoner. No, please. This will mean death. Just get it over with. He needs to pay for what he has done! By the law! By the law! Take him out of my sight! No! 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 No, please! No! I have never seen such crowds at the temple, not even at Passover. And listen to them. Something must have happened here. Perhaps Nathan will know. Sarah, do you think it wise to seek him so soon? I need to see how he is, to explain, make things right, whether or not he wants to hear it. Oh, Rachel, I fear I have lost him forever. And I was hoping in this crowd I might see... Benjamin? Rachel... He has been gone so long. I know, I know. It is but a foolish hope. But hope is all I have. Oh, look! There he is! Jesus! Jesus? The miracle worker you told me about? Yes, yes. I never thought I would see him again. Come, we must listen. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them who love you, what reward have you? 
do not even tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, how are you different from pagans? Be therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. I have never heard our faith put so simply, so clearly. It burns in my heart, and mine as well. Love your enemies, he says. Has anyone ever spoken with that kind of authority? Hmm. How does one love an enemy or forgive them? Is that even possible? Uh, Are you speaking to us, child? No. Pardon the intrusion. No intrusion. What is troubling you? Surely you have more to do than listen to my tale of woe. Nonsense. Tell us, please. What is the matter? Today, Roman soldiers took away someone very close to me. We have faced similar challenges. And the one who betrayed him, the the one who could have saved him, chose not to. Instead, he had him arrested. Arrested? Is there any hope you will see your friend again? I do not know what they will do with him after the trial, if they will imprison him or carry out sentence immediately. Oh, daughter, we too have lost loved ones. For me, it was a son, some thirty years ago, and for my dear friend, a husband, and more recently, a son. But what this man, this Jesus, says is true. The day of forgiveness is at hand. The alternative is a cold, empty life filled with hate. But did you hear him? Love your enemies, forgive them. Someone who would say that has never known betrayal. He knows our pain. Believe me, I have witnessed his grief firsthand. Is it so wrong to hope that your enemy gets what they deserve? I I hope that for my enemy. Oh my. I'm so sorry. All I really want is to know what they are going to do with my friend. As do we. Who, Who are you to worry so about a stranger? We are you, my dear. Maybe a little older and graying around the temples, but we share a common bond, daughter. We can learn from each other's pain, hold each other up. What is your name, child? Abby. Abigail. Abigail, would you like us to stay, to watch with you until you know? Oh, you would do that for me? We honor God by doing it. And when we honor him, good will come from it all. Good. What good can come from any of this? Perhaps you should come home with us, child. Just for a day or two, to get some rest. Regain your strength. Come, we will await news there. Artemis, I... A moment. Why have you called me here? A moment. Please, Nathan. If you wish to discuss my plans, I have made a few changes. With these revisions, we can silence Jesus once and for all. I... Nathan, that commotion in the temple today, why were you fighting with a common thief? I... You made us look like ruffians, Nathan. I turned in a common thief, like any good citizen would do. You made a spectacle, and the others were watching. So be it. We have more important matters to discuss than my grappling with the street thief. Nathan, stop. I warned you to be careful. I advise you to return to your studies, but you did not listen. And I will return to my studies. I promise, teacher. Once we are rid of Jesus, it is no longer in my hands. I am sorry. Sorry? About what? Zadok, you stray far from your study rooms. Artemis was kind enough to call you here, so we can settle this now, today. 
Settle? Settle what? More of your little plan. Yes, with a few changes. Here, let me show you. Your little demonstration in the temple today made us all look like fools. Especially me. I was only just... Just another on a long list of your embarrassments to this holy place. When have I ever... Challenging elders in front of commoners. Criticizing temple policy and practice behind our backs. I never... You have great ambition. Do you not, Nathan? Ambition? Burning ambition. Dreams of power. Power over decisions made here at the temple. If you will let me explain, I can. If... if, if Place it on the desk, Joshua. Thank you. You may go. By what authority does that young scribe move temple treasure? That is none of your concern. But that chalice belongs in... Sit down before I call the guards. What is going on here? Artemis? I have watched you since you were young, Nathan. You always were dutiful in your studies and in your interpretation of the word of God. Yes. You spoke the right words, wore the right robes, meticulously completed your duties here at the temple. Naturally. You had many ideas, ideas you wished to push on us. Some were even good. All had merit. There were those among us who were fooled into thinking you were of some value to this holy place. But I, on the other hand, was never fooled. What? The first day I set eyes on you, I knew you were a troublemaker. You questioned authority, had wild ideas, embarrassed us, attacked those of us who know the law better than you ever will. Sadok, I will not tolerate this personal attack. Sit down! I will not! I am sorry I embarrassed you at the temple earlier. But neither you nor the others are being successful getting rid of Jesus. Perhaps, perhaps it is time for some young men to move up, to provide fresh leadership. Dear Nathan, what you do not understand is, I have moved up. I now oversee all the scribes in this temple, their studies, their growth, celebrate their successes, and deal with their failures. But I was the clearer minds now rule the day, Nathan. We believe you are a danger to this holy place. A danger? I am no danger. Artemis will vouch for me. Speak to your friend, please. Artemis, I believe you are needed in the Sanhedrin for the trial. Go prepare yourself. Artemis? Artemis, please! Do not blame your friend. He cannot defend a scribe who is a common thief. What? Yes, tragic, really. In addition to everything else, it seems you have been seen pilfering temple treasure on a regular basis. Who is the author of such lies? Fortunately, I have been watching and documenting these thefts of yours. And that scene in the temple today... Fighting with a common criminal. Were you fighting over the price of some stolen temple property? No one, no one will believe you. They already have, Nathan. In the past hour, the elders have met to decide your fate. What? Never! I will go to the highest! Get out of my way! Do you know who I am? Do you? Arrest that man! Guards, detain this man and deliver him to the Romans. Take this missive to the court of Pilate. They will know how to proceed. We found this in his possession. I will hold it as evidence for the trial. Trial? Pilate, you will not triumph. I have friends. You have nothing. Well, I, on the other hand, will be honored for catching a scribe turned common criminal. How can you betray me? Because it is the law, Nathan. And you are one of us no more. Take him. No, no, I am not the enemy here. It is him. Oh, and thank you, Nathan, for delivering these. The elders approved of my plan to take care of this Jesus once and for all. Your plan? Yes, and I'm certain they will be equally impressed with my revisions. No, 
No! No! Do you see her, Rachel? No, no. Maybe there? No. How could we have gotten separated from Abigail? She was so determined to find her friend. Oh, poor child. I pray nothing has happened to her. Why did we think it was a good idea to come back to this chaos? Because we were tired of sitting at home waiting for word. Abigail! Ab there you are! Where have you been? Did you... Did you hear the news? News? Jesus was arrested tonight. Arrested? Are you certain? Yes, I saw him being led into the temple. What are the charges? <laughs> what are the charges? No one seems to know. I was trying to convince a temple guard to tell me where my friend was being held. Suddenly, this, this angry mob came from around the corner. In, in the center, Roman soldiers were pushing Jesus down the street. His hands were tied. Oh, no. The guard said that Jesus was a danger to the empire and that after his trial with Pilate, he would be crucified. Crucified? Yes, because he angered them when he stormed through the temple and kicked out the tax collectors. He cannot be crucified. They say he's to be brought before the Sanhedrin tonight. The Sanhedrin? Nathan should be there. Yes, you can ask Nathan to help Jesus. Help Jesus? Nathan despises him. Besides, Nathan may not even agree to see me. But, but you must try. Rachel, I am sorry, dear friend. Jesus has touched my heart like none other. I once supp supposedly saw Jesus fix a man's twisted arm. It, it was a trick. No tricks, Abigail. I saw him raise a man from the dead. No tricks. The power of God. Then if his power is real, he will be out of jail in no time. Yes, of course. Oh, where is my faith? Rachel, I was not serious. No, you are correct. Jesus will wait till the eyes of the world are on him. Then he will perform his biggest miracle of all. He will free himself. But Rachel, what if, if he can heal the lame? Raise the dead. Surely he can save himself. Rachel, we must go to the temple to see if Nathan no is there. No need. Jesus has no need of Nathan. But I do, Rachel. I do. Hey, guard, what is going on outside? Da, 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 big ruckus. I can hear that. Tell me what you see. This window is useless. <laughs> what? You want I should come in there and hoist you up on my shoulders so you can see better? <laughs> Next, you'll want me to draw your bathwater and tuck you in for the night. Bonehead. <laughs> Here's your tub. Start scrubbing. Guard, what time is it? What difference does it make? A condemned man has the right to know how much longer he has to live. <sighs> Listen, sticky fingers. If you're quiet, you die tomorrow afternoon. If you keep irrigating me... You've got about three minutes! I gotta kill you anyways for kidnapping the temple lady. You cretin! She was just pretending to... Please tell me, what is the commotion about? If you must know, they arrested Jesus of Nazareth. Really? As a matter of fact, I have to move another prisoner in here to make room for him. A, a cellmate? I barely have enough room now. 
take your complaints to Caesar. Where are you, Abby? I really need you now to work your magic. Come on, you. Get in there. Come on. Uh, get off me. Nathan, get this man out of here. Get him out, do you hear? He is here to stay. Guard, come back. <laughs> you here to size me up for the cross? Hmm? Hey. Hey. Talk to me. What is wrong with you? Nathan? Oh, I thought I was dreaming. Oh, but you are here. The worst day of my life ends up at your feet. How ironic. What are you doing here? Simply put, I have been demoted. Demoted? Does it not delight you to see the mighty fallen? Here. I believe this belongs to you. Listen, Nathan. You will tell me what happened to you and to father and mother, everything. Leave me alone! Uh, quiet! If you keep infuriating me, I will come down there. So help me. So, they tossed you on the trash heap, eh? Welcome to my world. What do you think? I wish it were quieter. <laughs> Listen, Nathan. You might as well tell me what happened. Come tomorrow, I will be unavailable for conversation. As will I. What could you possibly have done to end up here? Stealing, supposedly stealing from the temple treasury. You? A thief? We could have been partners. I, I stole nothing. Some bitter old men saw me as a threat, set me up, had my closest friend betray me, told lies at my trial, and sent me here to die. End of story. Betrayal hurts, does it not? Yes! Yes, it, it does. You asked about father. He died. Several weeks ago. It, it was unexpected. No time for... Goodbyes? No. You said back at the temple, they were not my real parents. Nor mine. Years ago, when Herod slaughtered the boys under two... Our mothers had us secretly taken to Sarah and Tobiah for safekeeping. Then why did they not tell us when we got older? To protect us, Sarah said. Huh. Adopted. So, you and I are not really... Brothers? No. And our real mothers? Mine was killed by Herod's soldiers. Yours is here, in the city. My mother? A woman named Rachel. You met her. Did... Did she ask about me? At first, she thought I was you because I was wearing the necklace. I set her straight, though. <laughs> no doubt. Why did you keep it all these years? As a trophy of sorts. A triumph of good over evil? Something like that. But, but deep down, maybe, it was to stay connected with you. <laughs> Seriously? After all, we are still family. Mother, I, I, I mean, Sarah said that... Father asked for you before he died. Me? He hated me. Made my life miserable because I was not like you. He wanted something better for you. That's easy for you to say. Why do you hold on to the bitterness and anger all these years later? What else do I have? As my world has crumbled around me, I too have been consumed with anger. Bitterness. Now you know. These past days in prison, I have wanted revenge. Payback to get my life back. And then I saw him again, my tormentor. Who? Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. I saw him when they moved me to make room for him. He had been beaten, abused, abandoned, betrayed, facing prison and a likely death sentence. My plans for his capture had worked. And yet I felt no joy, no satisfaction. It was in that moment... I realized it was I who was caught. Caught by my ambition. Ambition ruled my life. My compassion. My identity. My relationship with God. When our eyes met, I could tell Jesus knew who I was. And the plans I had drawn against him. My soul lay bare before him. With its darkness. Its sin. I was ashamed. I expected to see condemnation in his eyes. But yet... 
All I saw was mercy and forgiveness. It was the heart of the law that shone in his eyes. There in that cell, I was touched by the very hand of God. My former enemy turned out to be my salvation. (laughs) You expect me to believe that. It happened. Benjamin, I am not proud of my hateful words and self-righteous piety. Please don't. We are still brothers. We do share a common history. So now, under the shadow of the cross, let us put our painful past behind us before we receive what we deserve for our thievery, our wandering and disobedience. Let there be peace, forgiveness. Nathan, the first time I was arrested at our home in front of mother and father, the soldiers said my friends and I had assaulted a young scholar from the temple. Mother cried. It was not my Benjamin. He was here all along. Right, Tobiah? Father paused thoughtfully. Then realizing he could be done with me forever said, Yes, he is the one you seek. And they hauled me away. The soldiers found me because of you. They arrested me because of him. Together, you sealed my fate. Mother never told me that. Those images have fueled my life for so long. And now, you expect me to just forgive and forget because of your little conversion? Even this Jesus tries to steal my anger by emasculating my enemy, but it will not work. Spare me the sob story. I already have one. Dawn is coming, daylight, and then death for my Jesus. The Sanhedrin never gave him a chance. Now some mock trial before Pilate. How can you know that? You heard those guards talking. This trial is all for show. Jesus is a dead man. And your Nathan, where was he when we needed him? I have no idea where he was, where he is. Why will they not let me see my friend? He is right in there, but now the entire prison is off limits. Because Jesus is in there. My friend must think that I have forgotten about him, that that I have abandoned him. You care for your friend a great deal? Yes. I, I realize that more and more as the hours pass. What is your friend's name? Benjamin. Benjamin. A name on our hearts as well. Benjamin is the name of our son. Our son? I gave him life. Sarah gave him a home. It is a long story. My Benjamin gave me adventure, excitement. He even sacrificed himself for my freedom once. He sounds wonderful. I would like to believe our Benjamin would do the same. He would. If given the chance, he would. I have realized too late that I love him. Too late to tell him, to share my life with him. My Benjamin tried so hard, but his father was so difficult. (gasps) Something is happening there at the jail. Look, see, it is Jesus. They're taking him away. To see Pilate, no doubt. Jesus, save yourself and show them who you really are. Free yourself. Jesus! Uh, Rachel, Rachel, no. We must wait here for news of Benjamin and to seek Nathan. He must save himself. He must, he must. Oh, what is to become of him, of us? time is it, do you suppose? Late morning, time to die. What is happening out there? The jailer said they took Jesus to be examined by Pilate. 
a crowd followed him there, and they were very agitated. It seems your friends, I mean your former friends at the temple, needed Pilate's help to get their death sentence. Guard, why the delay? Da, 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 I am waiting on Caesar's forces. So, hold your horses. Why do you want to rush this? Why do you want to prolong it? Death. What is it like, I wonder? Death is only the beginning. That is what scares me. We need not fear death. If we make peace with God. Enough. Enough preaching. Guard! <laughs> Never before has anyone begged to go. Well, come on, you two. It's time to pay for your crimes. Finally. Benjamin, take the necklace back. Please, brother. Please. Get moving. <laughs> now! Too late, brother. Wait. Those men. Nathan? Nathan! Benjamin! Mother! Rachel! Uh, Abby! Stop! Out of our way! We must deliver these men to Calvary! Stand aside! Wait! Remember me? The... the temple lady? Why, it is you! For a moment there, I thought you were a pigment of my imagination. Glad to see you got away from this one. Yes. Yes. Could you find it in your heart to give the family here some final moments with their loved ones? It, it would mean so much. I am sorry, miss, but I have very little affluence over Caesar's guards. Please? The temple elders would look kindly on your mercy. Just a few minutes. <gasps> Benjamin! This is the Benjamin you spoke of. Mother? No, it cannot be. Benjamin, my son. Yes, mother. Benjamin, I never stopped loving you. This is Benjamin. Rachel, guess. This is he. This is your son. My son. I wish I remembered you. But I remember you. All this time, we were seeking the same person. You both are manacled. What happened? I got myself into this, mother. What is important now is for me to beg your forgiveness, for my harsh words, for hurting you. Yes, yes, of course, my dear boy. Where were you? I tried to come, but guards were everywhere. I waited. You never came. Benjamin, please. Not now. I need to say this. I love you. What? You pick a fine time to reveal your feelings. But there they are. Nathan, I implore you. Stop this madness! Call on your friends at the temple! It is because of my friends at the temple that I am in this predicament. No matter, Mother. You have forgiven me, and God has forgiven me. I am at peace. But you do not deserve to be crucified! He does deserve it! After what he did to Benjamin, he betrayed his own brother! Abby, no. Forget about him. We need to say goodbye. I will not allow this! What are the charges? He is a renowned man of the temple, and the other never harmed a soul. You have the wrong men. Can you not see that? They are getting what they deserve, and your time just ran out. Oh, one more minute, 
please! No more delays! say unto you, today you shall be with me in paradise. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. for two nights now. She just dozed off a short while ago. We are all exhausted. Yes. Stay and share a meal with us. Yes, thank you. Sarah, I... I wanted to apologize for the hurtful things I said to your Nathan when he and Benjamin were being led away. I was angry and distraught, but I should not have... Please. The moment was charged with emotion. You were losing the man you loved, and I knew the part his brother played in making it so. Your reaction was understandable. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, those two. 
always at each other. In reality, they were more alike than they ever would have acknowledged. Oh, Nathan, Benjamin, my boys. Sarah. <laughs> Pardon my intrusion. I seek Sarah. Uh, who are you? My name is Artemis. I'm a scribe from the temple. Artemis? Yes, of course. Please come in. I am Sarah. This is Abigail. Artemis? Abigail. I was in this home many years ago. Artemis was one of Nathan's favorite teachers. He spoke of you often and fondly. He was a special student. One who made me proud. Nathan had the courage of his convictions, which is more than I can say for myself. What do you mean? Sarah, I am not innocent in this tragedy. You? Yes. I was so buried in my work that I, I failed to see the coming storm in Nathan's life until it was too late. Sarah, it is I who should have been on that cross. You? My crime was far more serious than his. I was guilty of... of Betrayal through inaction and through fear. And now I, I must live out my remaining days knowing that I could have, should have... You could have saved him? Yes. N no. I will never know. But I had the opportunity, and I failed him. What kind of a man would just sit back and let An him... old, fearful man. A, a man without the fortitude to stand against the Sanhedrin. Excuses! And now they are dead. Nathan, Benjamin, and my Jesus! I, too, have lost this Jesus. Why would a scribe care about Jesus? You all tormented him while he lived. Not all of us. Not all. I, I followed him, heard his teachings, saw his miracles, knew he was special. He touched my life, too. No, you are just Rachel. as guilty as... None of this will bring them back. Please. I found some of Nathan's personal items in his jail cell. You should have them. I must, I must be going. Artemis, please wait. I once heard Jesus say, the day of forgiveness is at hand. Today is that day, Artemis. I forgive you. Shalom, my friend. How could you forgive so easily? It is but another way to honor God. I believe this belongs to you. All these years later, and it comes back to me. Here, a gift to remember my son, Benjamin. No, please, this is yours. Child... Follow the example of my friend Sarah. This I do to honor God and Jesus. I have so, I've been so consumed with Jesus' death that I have forgotten about his life. Here, please. Thank you. I must go to visit the tomb where Jesus lay, to spend time. You understand? Yes. Shalom, my friend. Shalom. Thank you again, Rachel. Do you think it is wise for her to go to the tomb? She needs to, to make peace. And who knows what healing such a visit may bring. Abigail, you must be tired. Please do not stay for my sake. Sarah, I... I know you are truly alone now. With Nathan and Benjamin gone... I will be fine. I have no family to speak of. I cannot replace your sons, but I can be... A daughter. A, a daughter? Someone to help you. To watch over you. To, to do what Benjamin and Nathan cannot do. Care for their mother. I... I'm so sorry. What was I thinking? This is too soon. I'm so sorry, no, I should go. No, Abigail, uh, please wait. I, I would love to have you stay with me. Please stay. Daughter, yes. <sighs> Let us eat. 
And talk of these days. And remember. Sarah! Abigail! Sarah! Abigail! He is not there! Who? Jesus! Jesus is not there! The tomb is empty! Someone stole his body! No! He is risen! Risen? Yes! Jesus rose from the dead just as he said he would! He, he rose, rose from, from the, the dead? dead? He is risen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this?